Hey guys, um, I just wanted to press play just to feel out the vibe, um, see what's going on. I'm drinking green tea um, with a mug that says blessed. Um, pretty sure I got it from Target or something. And then I have some candles, of course. Capricorn vibes. Um, it's my rising and my moon. And then I have this because the sunburn, Sagittarius vibes. So I'm just feeling out the energy. We're going to do, of course, tarot reading. Um, I have a moon on a. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have Moonology, <laughs> the Star Seed, and of course my favorite Ghetto Tarot. Period. I don't know if I should be like using any other tarot decks, so let me know if you have one that you really like and that you want to recommend or something. Um. So yeah, we're going to see what's going on today. Um, recently, I've watched some Twin Flame readings, and I don't know. I feel like you just end up manifesting. Shit. I feel like you just end up manifesting a lot. Um, when shit like that happens. So I don't know. I don't want this to be a Twin Flame reading. Um, but we're just going to see what spirit has to say to us, say to me, because this is definitely going to be a projection of a lot. Um, oh my gosh. Bear with me, please. Okay. So I'm, so I'm going to put the tea out of the way. I'm going to take a sip. Before we start, because it's been it's been a difficult few like weeks or months, whatever. But um, tarot always helps. So f that shit. If you're going through something too, f that shit. Find something that'll help you and stick to it. Okay. Period. So yeah, we're gonna see which um, cards end up showing up and showing out, okay? We got the Justice card at the bottom of the deck, which I love because Haiti's going through a lot of bullshit right now and they deserve justice, free Haiti. I always like to say that shit and I'm glad I can say it on the record, okay? Free Haiti. Um, last time I was there, we had to stay for a few more days because there was a lot going on. There was a lot of protests, a lot of shit going on with the president. Um, so we were, st we were stuck there for a few more days. Um, and that was pretty scary. So scary for me and like what? I don't even live there. So definitely free Haiti. There's a lot of things that America can do to help Haiti. I mean, I'll list them, but this is, <laughs> I'll list them for you guys, but I'm just kidding. This is a tarot reading, so we're just going to keep it moving. I just wanted to say that on record. Um, so yeah, I want to see like what, I want to like feel out what you guys are feeling. Oh, uh, the justice card again. I'm going to keep the justice card out. I want to see what you guys are feeling. I feel like the cards can tell me how you guys are feeling right now. Um, we got a few that already flipped over. I'm going to keep this one. And the bottom of the deck, I love this one. It's all about, like, your childhood. They're, like, two kids just chilling. This is supposed to be, like, ice cream. Like, in Haiti type of vibe. So, like, they're just chilling. This is... The Six of Cups, a lot of water signs, a lot of emotions. Maybe you guys are feeling very emotional. You're feeling very connected to your inner child. 
in a way that you're not usually connected to it and you know like it's very like different right now for you what else what else are my viewers feeling what else are my viewers feeling one bit of football uh, the high priestess came out of the deck damn we got the three of swords again i'm gonna freaking ignore that because i already know heartbreak is in the air and i don't want this to really to be a love reading so we got the high priestess and the stars so you guys are definitely yeah you guys are embodying the high priestess which is amazing i mean like she's a bad bitch <clears throat> so that's that so i would just say keep doing that keep embodying the high priestess you guys have the star too which is like a lot of options so you guys have a lot of lot a lot of options on your hands i mean like hell yes because <clears throat> we've been going through a lot lately with covid and shit everybody's broke as hell so I feel like it's good that the star came out because we're getting back to our bullshit. But you know what I'm saying? Like the good bullshit, the star, the good options. And we're going back to our bad bitch mentality, okay? Like, period. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep the shit moving because I'm done. These candles are calming me down. And I love it. <laughs> Shout out to Tarjay, okay? Shout out to Tarjay. Ooh. The chariot. The chariot came out. Somebody is moving forward, moving to the top, moving to a different location. Somebody is moving and I like the move, okay? Let's just say I like the move from one person to the other to a better partner. I don't know. Somebody is moving or like you and your partner are moving somewhere together. Like this shit is lit. <laughs> Okay, it's lit. I like it. It's bringing back your inner child. Okay, this move is good. This move is good. I appreciate it. A lot of people are not moving right now, so I hope it resonates with you. A lot of people are not moving. A lot of people are staying still. Um, and if that's your case, then this reading really isn't for you. I would just say that now. Because this reading is about somebody that's moving, okay? Maybe you're mentally moving forward or something. Maybe you're mentally trying to get past something. But I like the physical, okay? <laughs> Emperor. Okay, can we get a man? Can we get a man? Is this a man? Um, the Emperor is definitely beautiful masculine energy. So there's definitely some masculine energy here. Um maybe you're a man i mean i do have um a viewer that's a man shout out to him i feel like he already knows who he is you know what i'm saying toby <laughs> but um a man maybe you're moving somewhere maybe you and your mans are moving somewhere okay or you yeah some masculine energy there i like i like it i like it and you're holding on really tight i don't know if this holding on really tight is like a good or a bad thing let's see you're holding on really tight it was the knight of brooms in reverse so i would say you're holding another broom fire sign um card you're holding on really tight and i don't really think you should be holding on really tight you have a lot on your hands right now so it's like it's, it's a little bit difficult i mean with the move you you don't know what to leave behind and you don't know what to bring with you most of the time people just don't bring anything with them because it's the it's better than like bringing stuff with you and, and it being too much to carry um so you're gonna have to let go of some things 
It's like, wow, I hate letting go of things, too. I really hate it. But, yeah, you're going to have to let go of some things with this move, boo-boo, okay? And I hear that shit. I hate letting go of things. Speaking of letting go of things, let me put my hair down. <laughs> I hate letting go of things and the spirit is saying stop fighting and there's a lot of doubt stop doubting yourself okay there's a lot of doubt the two of swords I mean this is definitely the doubt for me it's the doubt for me she can't she, she, she her eyes are covered she's like ready to fight anything that she hears you know like she's doubting everything right now like she's not happy if you look at her face she's not happy at all i really like this card because i mean it's haitian as fuck I'll, it's haitian as fuck free haiti um i really like the card and, but she's doubting a lot in this in this card um I'm gonna go to the star seed to get more on this move. Should I do the moon for the move? Like, should, <laughs> should I go to moonology to get more on the moon or the star seed? I think I'm gonna do moonology for the move, okay? Ooh, that was a nice little present. Okay, we'll do the move. Past, present, and then one more card for the future. The move. How is it going to be? What, what should you leave behind? What are you holding on to too tightly? What is going on with the move? Okay, and who are you going with? Are you going by yourself? Like, let's, let's get more on the move for the future vibes. Por favor, mi amor. Ah. Okay. I already got the future vibe card, but I'm going to leave it turned around. And we'll get to it chronologically. Okay. So, so the past. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon and the eclipse. Yeah. I really like this card. But, um, yeah, like, you're holding on to something really tightly, and you really shouldn't be fighting about it anymore. You're doubting whether or not, because you know there are a few things that you need to let go during this move. Because with the move, it's, like, you're going forward, you're going up, you're, like, you're moving, you're moving. Like, I don't know if I'm explaining it, like, 100%, but if, you, if it resonates, it resonates. Um, and conclusions conclusions are within reach so the shit that you're about to leave behind you're about to be moving forward without it that's on period like you're 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 figuring out you're very like strategic with the shits and i like it you're very strategic i like it um and you're figuring out what you don't need what doesn't need to stay and that's like past vibes. So like you have been thinking about this. So that's past vibes. If you haven't been thinking about it, then it doesn't resonate. And I'm so sorry for you, boo-boo. Like, oof. I just, I just can't. Okay. And then present, let's flip it over. Balance spirituality and practicality. Wow. I feel like this card is for me. <laughs> Balance spirituality and practicality. So right now, yes, you're doubting a lot. Like you're figuring out the move. You're holding on to a lot. But you know you're a bad bitch. You got a lot of you got a lot of star energy around you. But right now you need to balance spirituality and practicality. Okay? I'll get a tarot deck to like explain that for you like because it is screaming volumes for me but if um you need some clarification 
Excuse me. Ooh, excuse me. Page of Brooms. Balance spirituality and practicality. Okay, so you need to be more communicative, okay? Like, Page of Brooms, fire sign, you're very passionate about what's happening in your life right now. But, like, you need to balance that shit out. Like, you need to balance what you can do and what you can't do. What you can control and what you can't. What you can control and what you can't control. You need to balance all that shit out. You need to like figure out your spirituality a little bit more maybe meditating a little bit more um drinking more tea i feel like tea really helps me okay tea really helps me when it comes to balancing spirituality and practicality so that's why i'm like this card is for me <laughs> but it might not be like it might be for you as well so that's um clarification i guess you need to be more communicative right now and figure out what you actually can take with you what you can't take with you what you can and can't take with you uh, um yeah figure that shit out bro okay in the future you are good enough full moon in virgo so yeah, you're you're doing some bad bitch shit, and you're you plan on fucking the game up like the, your inner child is like yes do this like this is what you always wanted type of thing like, and if it's you have the stars so like you have a lot of options so like your inner child is enjoying this moment regardless. It was like one of the first cards that came out. One of the first cards that came out. Your inner child is enjoying this regardless. So it's like. You, you're...